We know changing the depth of a floor is difficult, so we've worked hard to improve the Update Floor Members tool to make changing depth easier than ever. The Update Floor Members tool can be manually triggered or automatically triggered when you have changed properties in a floor container such as material, ply, and spacing that affect joists. This tool will retain the location of your floor members, unless of course you are changing spacing, as it adjusts the members to match the new selection. In previous versions, if you picked a material of a different depth, the Update Floor Member tool changed the joist but left the other stuff in the floor container as the old depth, which took some time to clean up. We are happy to say that in Javelin version 5.2, that cleanup should take less time since we automated some of these steps. First, the floor member depth property of the floor container now changes to match the new selection's depth. As before, Javelin will prompt you to run the Update Floor Members tool after you pick a new joist material, but now, if the new material is a different depth, Javelin will also prompt you to update the level properties. You can see the floor member depth is changed in the floor container as well as the level when you click Yes on the Update Level Properties prompt. Second, we've made the accessories in the floor container automatically update as well. The selected material for floor accessories in the floor container, such as non-parallel closure, is updated to match the depth of the new joist material selection. Any manually added accessories, such as this rim, are updated as well. The accessory product is retained and just the depth is updated, so the accessory remains an inch and a quarter timber strand rim board while the depth changes to match the joist. Finally, to make updating depths even more efficient, flush beams that are fully contained in the floor container are now also updated. The program will change the selected material for a flush beam to match the new joist depth. Like accessories, the program will keep the selected material except for the depth, so an inch and three quarter microlam beam stays an inch and three quarter microlam beam, just a different depth. And remember, the beam must be fully contained in the floor container. If the beam doesn't match the depth of the floor container like this one, it will not be updated. Another exciting enhancement made is automatically updating floor performance properties of joists once the changes are made to the parent floor container. For example, changing the applied ceiling property in this floor container will prompt you to run the Update Floor Members tool, which will alter that property for all joists included in that floor container. Last but not least, if roof members are included in the model, the Adjust Roof Members tool will automatically run when the Update Floor Members tool is run in order to keep the entire structure updated with the new floor member's depth and level height. We want to leave you in control so you can customize which automatic changes happen during Update Floor Members by adjusting the program settings under the Floor Auto Frame section. Three new properties will let you choose if flush beams, floor accessories, and roof members are included in the updates. We believe that making it faster and easier to edit floors in Javelin will make you more efficient and more profitable, making the choice to use Javelin software that much easier. Thank you for watching this video.